All right, well, hi, I'm Keto Byrne, and I will be presenting today with Noelle Dwyer. We're both from the Youth Mappers Validation Hub at George Washington University in Washington, D.C. I have been with the Hub for about a year now, and Noelle joined in October of 2020, and we're excited to present to everyone the importance of validation. The Youth Mappers Validation Hub formed in May 2019 by faculty and students at the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. The hub formed with the purpose of ensuring a high standard of quality edits, data usability, and to foster an inclusive network to grow the OSM community. We are able to do this through documentation, training, and support. Throughout the year, we have about five members with additional interns in the summer. The hub is able to access OSM data using the humanitarian OpenStreetMaps team's hot tasking manager. And this is a tool that divides mapping projects into smaller tasks so multiple contributors can map and validate areas simultaneously. Not only is our job to work through the backlog of unvalidated youth mappers projects, but also to build the confidence and skills of mappers and validators from youth mappers chapters worldwide. Some of the ways we do this is by providing constructive and encouraging feedback to mappers and thanking them for all the mapping that they have done. The Youth Mappers Validation Hub is committed to growing the OSM community. We are constantly looking for new ways to build mappers and validators, whether it's by providing constructive feedback and constructive and encouraging feedback to mappers to keep them coming back and improving their edits each time, providing documentation on JOSM and validation, or hosting validation events and JOSM and validation trainings. We are also currently working to translate the English documentation that we currently have into Spanish and are hoping to get more translations in the works soon in other languages. The documentation we have already was modeled after the work of Missing Maps. By doing this, we were able to build off of an already tested validation workflow to ensure continuity in the validation process within the OSM community. Currently, the Validation Hub has over 20 active projects. Eight of these projects are in the process of being validated by our team. Once these are completely validated, the data from these projects can then be used for the humanitarian purposes they were intended, and will join the 40 plus other projects that have been validated by the Hub since its inception in May 2019. The projects that we work on cover a range of complex issues such as ensuring access to reliable energy, ending FGM, preventing and treating HIV AIDS, food security, community resilience, and malaria prevention, and span multiple countries. Of the projects that the Hub has already validated, over 30 of them were high priority and required immediate attention to be validated in a time frame of about a week or less by the majority of the Hub members. Kate, you're muted. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was just saying thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask either Noelle or I in the chat and to check out our social media, blogs, and Youth Mappers website, which contains all the documentation we use. Thank you. Thank you.